publish. We'll be at the Supreme Court next week. Meaning? Well, we could all go to prison. To make this decision, to risk her fortune and the company that's been her entire life, well, I think that's brave. The Post. All right, so The Post is a movie directed by Steven Spielberg, starring the great Tom Hanks and Meryl, and the, the great Meryl Streep. And this is a story about the uh, leaking of the Pentagon Papers in the early reign of the Nixon pre presidency. And I have to say, I love this movie. I wish that it did not snow in my town so I could have watched this movie. And then this movie would have probably snuck into my top 10 movies of 2017. But hey, life happens. So let's talk about this movie that's not on my top 10. Oh, so anyways, the post is the story of Tom Hanks. He's the, kind of the chief of the Washington Herald, and then you have Meryl Streep's character, who is kind of the uh, head boss in charge of it all. She she runs the paper, everything. She tells them what to do, what not to do, what they can publish and what not to publish. And I, like I said, I really enjoyed this movie. First off, Tom Hanks. I just watched. I just saw the Oscar nominations, and if since they're not going to nominate James Franco. Nominate Tom Hanks. Why the hell did we nominate Denzel Washington for a really shitty movie he did? His performance in this movie, though, was so amazing. I absolutely loved his performance. I thought he was just great. Also, i like to say I really enjoyed Meryl Streep in this movie. And I have to say, Meryl Streep did a great job. She's a great actress, one of the greatest of all time. And she did not phone in for this movie. And it was crazy hearing that Tom Hanks and Meryl Streep had never really worked together. That's just crazy to me because these two had really great chemistry with each other. I thought they did a really good job in this movie. And I really liked how this movie really pays... I really liked how socially relevant this movie is today. Because this movie set in her 70s. But this movie is a story that needs to be told today and needs to be sent to that prick in Washington, D.C. and to tell people you're not taking away our First Amendment rights because freedom of press, that is a thing which our founding fathers completely believed in that a, that the government should not tell what people should should be heard. It should be stuff that the people need to, need to be told. And that's what the freedom of the press is. And Nixon's war on the press during this time was, it was an incredible story to see and what you would later see in his other things. There was a little scene at the end of the movie that I didn't really feel was necessary. It was funny, just was not actually necessary. But like I said, this, this, is, a, this is a tough topic that is so relevant for today's time. So I absolutely love The Post. Post is another great Steven Spielberg movie. I think this movie is actually pretty underrated. I got... All the acting was great. I really love Bob Odenkirk, who plays Better Call Saul in, uh, in Breaking Bad and now Better Call Saul. I thought he did such a good job in this movie. I, I enjoyed this movie, and I'm going to give The Post a plus. You guys, have you seen The Post, and what are your thoughts? Comment below, let me know. And guys, if you like this video, click that thumbs up button. Subscribe to see more. Tell your friends about Easy Nation. All too easy.